with your gear. Have no fear. Auto expert Barry Wilson is here. Barry uh, Wilson from Wilson Auto Repair in Garland. This is one of those things, you, you, a lot of people don't understand what gaskets do, but man, when you have a problem with one, you've got a real problem. You really do, and, and the idea behind this is to explain why it's important to take care of your cooling system in your car so that you don't overheat your motor, because when you overheat your motor, then you blow it, right. which is the gasket that seals this cylinder head to the top of this engine. Right. And what ultimately happens is that the water becomes too hot or there's not enough water in here to circulate through these water jackets. It then, this head gets too hot and it, because it's metal, it warps a little bit and then yeah. the gasket doesn't seal between each one of the cylinders and it allows water to leak. And when that happens, then you've blown a head gasket. Uh, you can kind of see here that this is a lot of work to repair this and uh, it can be avoided most of the time by keeping cooling system, cooling water in your cooling system or keeping your fan working properly. What happens then, you get that, uh, you can get the uh, coolant goes down into the engine, there's only supposed to be gasoline or oil down there, not, uh, not antifreeze, so that can cause some real damage. That's exactly right and, and most of this can be avoided. It's just, it's just a situation where the engine got too hot it got too hot because there's a not enough coolant or right. your electric fans not working or your radiator stopped up or your thermostats not working properly to name a few of the things that could be the problem so this this is a very uh, expensive repair that's uh, that can be avoided most times and the reason i wanted to do this was because of the high temperatures that we're sure. getting a lot of times you're on the freeway and your car's overheating and the next thing you know there's smoke coming out your tailpipe or your temperature gauge goes to hot and you can't get it to, to quit and the motor eventually stops. Yeah, a problem nowadays, uh, some cars still have the, the temperature gauge and you can watch the temperature and, and, and you know when it gets up into the red you got a problem, mm -hmm. but some cars don't have that anymore. Just a light goes on that says check engine, which doesn't tell you much. Right. Most of the time when that light comes on, the best thing to do is shut the car off. I, most of the people I see that, that have the light keep driving the car and of course there's there you have to consider your safety but yeah. most of the time it's important to shut it off when that light comes on okay just pull over to the side